Ladies and G's, germs and ladies, back here again on Assassin's Creed 3, picking up where we left off. Um, should we get the power source hooked up? Hello. Hey, do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a... It's like a lot more than a blank. Gotcha. So how about we uh, try to hook up that power source? Uh, I don't know where to go for that. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Hmm. How do we get that power source hooked up again? I never did it. Going up this way. we could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. So is this where we hook up the shit? If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. 
Again, we failed. Damn. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Hmm. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. That should just look like secret rooms and shit. There we go. Gotta get down from this fucking height. Discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. Damn. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. Look at all the sparkles. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more. Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. What sentence? Make us safe. Ah. Uh. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. To direct the beam. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Mm. Yeah, this might not be a, a video where I'm fighting. This is more like... Learning a lot. <clears throat> so, our first instinct was to travel back to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward. We could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we wanted to learn if our work would succeed, <clears throat> but the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things, 
but she remained. The one you call Minerva. Minerva. Time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Aw, oh, shit. And I can't see shit, so... Huh. Way, maybe? Nope. All right. Okay. Fuck am I going, yo? Like I legit can't see where the fuck I'm going. Maybe I have to go this way? I just gotta find those stairs. Okay, that hurt a lot. Hmm. 
Huh? Oh, okay. <coughs> Damn, I really didn't even know where the fuck I was going. Alright, so now it's this one. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed it to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. The past will tell? I don't know about all that. Do I go this way or yeah, I'll go this way. Wait, what the fuck? One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. Not, not for him. him. Not, not for us. us. Mm. This must have been their version of the Animus. I would imagine so. All right. I truly hope I'm going the right fucking way. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, 
one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? So we may go here. God damn. Yo. There we go. Okay. Yeet. And let's yeet on down and let's look around. Man, let's go this way. That's the third source. Yeet. So all three spots are in, and now we just gotta go down there, right? Yeet! Yeet! Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. Sure, he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take Wait a minute, didn't you just say this shit? And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. All right. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Except the key. Do we not have the key? So wait, what do I do now? That's it? Yeah, that's it. I'll put all three of them in, and now we just need a key to unlock that. I wonder where we're gonna get this key. Do we have to go back in the Animus for that? Hey, Desmond. Didn't Subject 16's... Oh, yeah. His name no, 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 no. No, skip it. Sorry. Skip it. Skip it. Because we already had this conversation. Um, so. We plugged them joints in. And that was it. So I guess we gotta go back in the Animus to get the key. And we'll do that in the next video. So Distraught will be signing off here. I will see y'all in the next video.